Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the development of the breast, also called memory gland. The breast or memory gland develops from the milk line, also called memory ridge or memory crest, by interaction of epithelium and mesenchyme. Mesenchyme is the embryonic connective tissue and epithelium here is the surface epithelium and this mesenchyme is from the somatopleuric mesoderm. The memory line is seen at 5th to 6th week of intrauterine life extending from the axilla to the inguinal region. Most of the memory line disappears in human except a small part on the pectoral region of the thorax. The breast develops by down growth of epithelium, there is the ectoderm, there is the surface ectoderm to the underlying mesenchyme that is derived from the somatopleuric mesoderm over the memory line. Or you can call it memory ridge or crest or milk line. The epithelial cells form 16 to 24 sprouts of solid bars. So this is the sixth week of intrauterine life and this is the surface epithelium. This is the milk line or memory ridge or memory crest and we have the memory line extend from the axilla to the inguinal region but in human it is confined to the pectoral region over the pectoral is major muscle and around 6 12 week there will be solid sprout of the epithelial cell the late fetus will get the sinus formation, branching of the solid sprout. Okay, there will, there will be canalization, and this is at part in the new net will get memory pit. Then eventually there will be proliferation of the mesoderm around the pit, and it will lead to the formation of the of the nipple. Okay, we got that. Now we got the development of the breast here. Now let's try the solid epithelial bars are, bars are canali canalized and develops into 16 to 24 lectiferous duct. These are independent duct. One duct is not connected to another duct, but they may undergo branching and formation of alveolar lobules. The lectiferous duct open into an epithelial pit, the future nipple which is formed by proliferation of the underlying mesenchyme. A nipple is located in the center of the areola, the pigmented epithelium of the breast. At birth, there are no alveoli. Alveoli are well developed in the late pregnancy and also in the lactating mom. And alveoli occurs at puberty and in the adult life due to the action of the hormone. The alveoli of the breast are more developed during pregnancy and in lactating mothers. The breasts are modified sweat gland okay develop onto the breast we have some clinical consideration gynecomastia that means enlargement of the breast in male there are many reasons this adolescent boy has enlarged breast he has gynecomastia and he is also a patient of Klinefelter syndrome but there may be physiological gynecomastia at puberty that does not last long. They are after a few months, maybe after one year, they disappear. But in case of this boy, this boy has Klinefelter syndrome 
he has 47 xxy karyotype and he has enlarged breast in a male this male individual okay there are many causes of gynecomastia okay in the male it may be physiological as i mentioned in adolescent a lot of boy has that it may be pathological there may be growth in the breast there may be breast cancer okay or maybe associated with Klinefelter syndrome in Klinefelter syndrome not necessarily all Klinefelters will have gynecomastia it is seen in around 40 percent gynecomastia around 40 percent of Klinefelter's patient has gynecomastia Gynecomastia may be caused by medication or drug like that of cimetidine, an antipeptic ulcer drug. Gynecomastia may be, may be caused by some type of diuretic like the, the spironolactone, okay, and they may lead to gynecomastia. Polythelia, multiple nipple along the milk line. Polymestia, more than one breast, usually one more breast, okay. Amestia, there is no breast, it may be unilateral, it may be bilateral, okay. Polythelia may happen in the male also, okay, there will be nipple. And polythelia may be associated with some type of urinary tract anomalies, may be associated inverted nipple that may may develop especially it is found in the in the first time mother it may be discovered there will be inverted nipple okay and it may be seen in the in the new net okay so idea is that inverted nipple because the nipple has not developed properly the nipple is developed by the polyphers from the underlying mesenchym that doesn't happen and inverted nipple may need surgery and for lactation they need special technique okay so we are seeing polythelia here polythelia here in the male individual it may be here also so anywhere we may have nipple we call it polythelia multiple nipple okay here we are seeing one more breast supernumerary breast it may be here also there may be breast here okay there is a breast here okay the axilla maybe under the breast itself okay this is called polymestia polymestia and polymestic breast may be functional after delivery of the baby and that's all about the development of the memory gland or breast if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now